Hey friends, Kalani here. Um, I'm gonna talk about music therapy for a second and a recent experience I had at one of the places um, where I returned after many months of not working in this one facility due to the pandemic. Uh, probably eight months, eight, nine months. Um, maybe even longer. <laughs> and I just wanted to share a quick anecdote with you when I got back there. Of course, it, you know, it's great to see everyone. Welcome back. And, you know, seeing some of the clients that were there. Uh, this is a place where people go for treatment of a traumatic and acquired brain injury. Uh, but what's important about the visit, what, what struck me was that, um, of course, I, I see other therapists there, right? Physical therapists, um, counselors, you know, talk therapists, speech therapists. Uh, and they'll bring in clients, you know, to, to my session. And the overall theme uh, when they were bringing clients back and, and saying hello, we were saying hello for the first time in, in months was, we're so glad you're back. Um, a couple people, they, they said, of course, we really missed having you come in. And that's great. That's always good to hear. But what was interesting to me is, um, they have some occupational therapists there as well, and they tend to put music therapy under the banner of occupational therapy, which is fine. You know, the music therapy program there is not a big piece of what they do, so they have to put it somewhere. But uh, they said, you know, we tried doing some, we tried doing like whatever you do. I mean, they know I'm a music therapist, but they said, we tried to do it. Man, that was hard. It didn't go well. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, that's not great news, but it was nice to hear that they they tried to do something with music and they just acknowledged that it's, it's not that easy, first of all, and what we do is really special. And uh, my takeaway from that is that, you know, people often will see music therapy as something very simplistic. You know, they reduce it to doing music, right? That's, that's kind of a theme that we run into out there is that it gets reduced to music, right? Music is healing, music is therapy, music is, you know. So that, that's our challenge with advocating for the profession. Um, uh, it was nice to hear that they acknowledged that it's just, that's not what it is. It's not just doing music with people and they quickly discovered that. I think anybody who, who works in a treatment setting uh, and thinks that it's just doing music, uh, it, you know, like speech th or talk therapy is not just talking to people. Speech therapy is not just helping people speak. You know, there's a, there's a lot to it. Same with physical, same with all the different uh, allied healthcare professions. Uh, but when it comes to our profession, because most people have a particular idea of what music is and, you know, how it works, we have a special challenge of communicating that somehow or educating people as to what it is. Uh, but that, that's all I wanted to share with you in this post. And that was, um, it was nice to hear, but it also reminds me and it reminds all of us that that's the work we have to do is to educate people as to what, you know, what we do. And we're not just, quote, doing music with our clients. There's a lot to it. So it's always nice to be appreciated, though. And I appreciate all of you. Keep doing what you do. Keep advocating for music therapy. All right, I'm Kalani. I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks.